Not a very good New Year's Eve day for everybody today, or for John and Sam. Both their vents have been leaking all night and they've been up all night trying to get the rain out, trying to get the rain off the roof. It's been relentless and absolutely hammering down. So they've just borrowed our chocks. Just about managed to get on them. So they're hoping the top end is now up and the rainwater will run off towards the back and stop leaking. We shall see. What are you doing? Not a lot. Not a lot. Oh yeah, and look. Look at our curtains we've got up. Because we're sick of the bloody draft, ain't we? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I would say another Amazon bargain. Because <laughs> they actually were. Weren't they? Yes. I don't think we got, we never put them in the shop anyway, have we? No. We just try them out and we do keep yeah. them warm. Because how we've done it, if I lift up a bit, Carl's actually used on the other side. So not this side of the bit round the top, the other side of the bit round no the top. We've used picture hooks, yep. like the proper brass picture yes. hook things, haven't we? Yep. Um, and he's spiced them, oh, like the distance of yep. the holes, so that we can just hook them up. And then we can tie them down, can't we? When yep. we don't want to. So they hook like that, down. Yeah. And then hook back up. Yeah. But they have helped, haven't they? Definitely, definitely. Definitely. Improved. But anyway, that ain't the point of what I was going to say. Okay. That wasn't even the conversation I was going to have. It's just... Popped up. Oh, yeah, because you ain't normally got a curtain behind your head. Cosier and all, though, isn't it? This is cosier. Yeah. I've been wanting curtains up for ages, but he's been reluctant, ain't yeah. But we were killing the gas that much. Yeah. Yeah, just had to be done, get rid of the draft. We were okay. going to go to Elan Valley today, wasn't we? But John and Sam decided they didn't really want to move the RV anyway after the water poured in through the roof. No. And they've had to go up on the chock, so they don't want to risk it now, do they? They just want to let the water drain away. Um, And it's meant to be raining all night. All day and all night until yeah. God knows when. It is New Year's Eve as well, isn't it? Yeah, just in time. It's New Year's Day and we've walked into Lanny Glows. Raining on and off, but it's better than yesterday. That's the River Severn. There's Ellen, John and Sam and Shelby. It's eased off a bit now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can see by the water level, there's been a lot of rain.
this is the church of saints. It lies, I think you say it, it lies. This is where my uncle lives. Well, not in the church or the churchyard. In Lanid Lowe's. Or Lanid Lois. Or Lanny as they call it. Church probably won't be open. But you never know. Church, unfortunately, isn't open. Better find the others. But on our way down here, when we were coming out the site, we met some subscribers and they informed us that they did do all the mauled wine and the hot dogs and everything on the site last night for New Year. Well, we never knew because it was that pitch black, we couldn't see anything. But we saw the fireworks from um, John and Sam's motorhome anyway. So it weren't all bad. And we were in the warm. But it would have been nice to go down and have a bit of mulled wine. So we're actually in Lanny itself now. That is the old market hall. 16th century. And it's the only building of its type left in existence in Wales. And we'll try and get a better look. But it is absolutely chucking down we're in the red lion having a carver we've just got technically potatoes and veg because the nut roast had run out but i couldn't eat it anyway but they do gluten free gravy carl's got my yorkie pud six quid bargain i'll show you a close-up there's mine. Yeah. There's mine, and it is as mounded as it looks. And there's Coles, which was bigger than that. Is it the carrots and some of the mash? Ain't ya? Yeah. Well, there was loads on there. I had to balance it. And there's a empty plate, ain't there? Yep. Apart from John, the lightweight. <laughs> We've it as we had twice as much as you and all. Oh no, I couldn't believe Carl let all this. That's just greedy, Carl. <laughs> it's a pig, man. <laughs> no, it's called being a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we've just been the Red Lion Hotel. Really nice and friendly staff. Coat of arms above that shop there. And the building is called Plin Lemon House, 1894. Town Hall, it's like a market underneath. We were just saying how easy it would be to rob stuff, <laughs> basically. And if it was in Birmingham, they'd all be gone. Absolutely. And there's a butcher's there. Just shows how different it is when you live in a little town like this compared to big cities. And you've got the war memorial here. We were lest we forget bench. And you might think this is really, really boring, but do you know what? That is the first Victorian post box I have ever seen. Sinking George. Never Victoria. I think that's pretty cool. And this building was formerly the town jail. And you can see it on the plaque there. Built in 1864. 
Magistrates Court, formerly the jail. And there it is there, from a distance. Look at that for a shot. Really, really lovely. The building on the left was a mill, built in 1834. I think it's posh apartments now. We're back in the pub, ain't we? We are having another drink before we walk up the hill to the campsite. Yeah, we have our wee wees and we have a drink, and then we're going to walk back up. Attempt to. Yeah. Attempt to. We've only had two drinks. It's hard work going up hill. And that's two visits. Yeah, of course he can. That's what we'll be climbing here because he's got a girly brother. Shelby's all royalty and on the bloody sofa, be sad. She's properly in the room, isn't yeah. Shelb? And Nook is chilling on the floor, ain't he? Don't know if you can hear over the rain. It's been dry. We've come out and it's raining. At least we've got the awning. Eating in the rain, eh? We must be absolutely <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <no. laughs> eating out yeah. in the rain. El fresco, el freezing fresco, I think. <laughs> so we're having quiche, what Sam has made. And some potatoes, potatoes, what Mom, Carl's Mr. cooking. Carl. You're waiting for Carl. Come yeah, on, we Carl, are. We're hungry. And it's our last night tonight. Yeah, we are. Yeah. You want food? You want food? You want food? Mm. Move it's your can of lager. Like, my, my, my chair, my chair. Your chair, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Food, John. Food. <laughs> oh, I'm going in first. <laughs> you know what? I'll cook. <laughs> so I'm allowed to go first. <laughs> Spuds have turned up, there you go. Hey. Poor Mr B slaving away, ain't ya? Yes, I would move, but I'm chained to the sink here. Oh, funny. Look, kink, oh, kink, who cooked yesterday? Me. <laughs> okay, who cooked the day before? Probably me. No, you didn't. We had the curry. Yes, okay. Exactly. So he's a fibber. Yes. And I made that. But, anyway, it's our last night tonight, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, we've had a nice time, haven't we? We have. Nice Weather's place. been crap, but... Yeah, it's just been getting better tomorrow, really. Yeah, it's meant to be nice tomorrow, because we're going. Typical. <coughs> Told you there was a little fly in here. Did I get him? I don't know, but the bloody annoying. That should be dead boy now. It's fucking winter, man. Yeah, I know. So we're going to leave this one here anyway and we will see you on the next one which will probably be tomorrow but it won't be on tomorrow will it? So we'll catch you on the next one. What do you say? Bye. Bye.